Hello everyone and welcome to our autonomous driving lab. Today we're going to make an autonomous car which will detect obstacles. Basically, we're going to use a Renesis RX series board which supports Arduino development. And we're going to use an ultrasonic sensors and actuators. These type of sensors are used in major car companies such as BMW, Toyota, etc. These are the components which we might use to develop this car and then we'll write the code in Arduino for the self-driving car. You can see the hardware details of the self-driving car. My car's electronic board basically contains a Renesis microcontroller, an ultrasonic sensor, climate sensors, lane detection sensors, motor controllers, a buzzer, a display unit, LEDs, and batteries. You can see the detailed architecture of the hardware at the left side. Let me show you my advanced software lab. My self-driving hardware board is connected with this powerful processor via a USB cable. Before going into the coding details, I am going to explain to you how the ultrasonic de sensor detects objects. You can see here that the ultrasonic sensor sends sound waves to detect objects and it sends signals to the Renesis board. Now I've written the code in Arduino and reflashed my hardware via a USB. Now this electronic car is ready to drive by software and the autopilot has been enabled. Welcome to the autonomous drive track. My autonomous car is parked here. And I have built a track with several hazardous situations to test the prototype car. As you can see, there are several hazards on this track. First, there are a bunch of construction workers and construction is going on. Then, there is a biker who is busy on the phone. After that, there are two bikers who want to get to the other side of the track. Next, there is a car which is somehow stopped. Finally, there's a jeep that is obstructing the crossroad. On top of that, there are many steep curves on this road. Let's see how our lane assist system works. The goal is to deliver the oxygen tanks in the car to the fire station on the other side of the track. During this experiment, we will also demonstrate how the car works in night mode. And here we go! First, we start the car. The ignition has been turned on and the car has started running on the track. The headlights will turn on automatically as soon as we turn off the track's light. You can see that the climate control sensor is working. Now the track light is on and the headlight is off automatically. The car is moving safely without hitting the biker or the construction workers. The car is approaching a stopped car, and you can see that it applies the emergency brake. You can see that the automatic brake is working. Now the car is moving safely on the steep curve. The lane detection system is working nicely. Wow, it's doing a great job. The car is reaching towards the jeep, which is about to cross the intersection. The autopilot system stopped the car again automatically to avoid the collision. Finally, we have reached the fire station and the oxygen has been delivered safely and automatically. Thank you for watching.